Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. So recently, I fell into yet another hole. If you're into sci-fi or military-esque kind of action figures, some of you know what I'm talking about. You know how it started? These two guys right here, one eighteenth scale or three and a three quarter inch action figures. Look at me now. And this is just the beginning. We all know where this is going. In today's video, we're gonna check out the top three most wanted 118th scale action figures. I'm super super excited because this is my first time getting an Acid Rain World. Hi Kelsey. And the 118th scale joy toy figure last but not least guys i managed to score myself a planet green valley so i'm gonna break these into three parts because i'm gonna cover so many things um, first one the price second thing the product packaging and the most important thing the playability factor the features of each action figure if this is something that you enjoy please go ahead and click some buttons like share subscribe thank you so much appreciate it all right people i'm like a kid at a candy store we've got the joy toy we've got a couple of female military figures looking pretty good kelsey and what's her name basic figure and the fly heavy cavalry hmm. i think we should go with this one right here what do you guys think let's do this toy toy How much would you guys pay for an action figure? 15, 20, 25 US dollars maybe? This guy right here, whoop, again, looking good. Its official price is about 100 and what? Its official price is 198 Chinese yuan, which is about 30 US dollars. Uh, as for me, living in Malaysia, I got it for about 30 US dollars, very close to the official price. And I got it from my local hobby store, citytoys.com. So how would I rate the pricing for this action figure? Um, I guess maybe a 4. 4 out of 5. Just because it's slightly expensive than the usual um, kind of action figures. But again, this is not... A typical on the shelf kind of action figure so that's why it's a little bit more expensive hmm. so for now it's four out of five let's take a look at the box not sure if you guys can see the matte surface looking pretty good so good to touch and feel and if you look at the graphic I kind of like how it's like the um, graphic novel so it looks pretty good over here says 118 skill and yes for joy toy they actually have a couple of series for um the 118 skill they are the battle of the stars for 125th skill they are known as the dark source you know what's my favorite part about this box right here? It's actually the corner. They've got this Velcro. And when you open it up, ta-da! Looks pretty awesome. I really, really like how you can just open up and check out the action figure. Instead of the typical, um, let's say, okay, over here, right? This is the typical action figure box that you can find at the store, right? So just the figure itself or even the one with the Planet Green Valley right here. 
but I feel like Joy Toy has put a lot of effort and they make it look and feel very premium, very nice. Okay, at the back is what, what you have a picture and also a bunch of information. Check this out, people. Looking cool. Looks like an old Chinese uncle. So let's let's get it. Let's open this up. Like the choice of color, yellow and black. Tenth Legion Flying Heavy Cavalry Type A. Okay, it tells you the accessories. Comes with belt, bulletproof vest, leg armors, firearms, daggers, etc., and everything else over here. And keep away from fire. Handle with care. Noted. Can be installed and removing. So they actually give you. Uh, instead of assemble, I guess this is called the disassembly example. You can actually take take apart from the different joints um, in case you all want to custom mice this guy right here. So yeah, pretty cool. Joy toy, good job. I like it. And this one just uh okay they they, they actually put a tape here to secure I guess cool. And one more right here. Okay, not too bad. Where else? Ta -da! Overall, I really, really like the product packaging. It it feels really good. Um, I would give it five out of five. Something new, something different. Alright, so over here we have the main guy. I have laid out the accessories on the top, which we're gonna check out later. First impression, it looks really, really good. Um, in fact, this is what Joy Toy is known for. Super realistic and um, just check out the detailed painting as well as the weathering I feel like overall they are pretty consistent with the 125th scale pilot which I have over here on the side right super uh, realistic color is good it has that matte type of feeling to it so I really like it okay back to the 10th Legion Type A. Um, not sure if you guys can see, even for the head, there are a few scars, right? So, yeah, I mean, looks really good. Now, we're gonna check out the accessories right now before we talk about this dude, this uncle right here. Here is the dagger, looking pretty cool. And we also have the handgun, very futuristic looking, silver and black. This is the rifle, really like the color scheme to this one. And last but not least, this is the flamethrower, I think. Other than that, it also comes with a couple of hands. The first type would be the close grip hand. And we also have the weapon holding hand, I believe. Let's try with dagger. I think it should work. Looks good. What about the handgun? Okay, not bad but i don't think this is the right hand it should be the other one so this is the dagger hand here is the jet pack with wings i guess you can't really do much you can just attach it to the back of the exosuit exoskeleton and that's it 
in here we have the helmet it kind of reminds me of uh, the beluga whale with the head see the top protruding outwards okay um, one of the things that I kind of wish they did differently with the helmet is that um, if you check out the 125th scale um, pilot you can actually take it out so, oh, oops okay over here so it's a helmet that you can put on to the pilot which I thought it was pretty cool right but for the 118th scale you can't actually do it right so you have to replace with the head let's check it out right now oh and, it, and here's the scarf too you can remove the scarf or you can just put it back on and you can put or attach the the whale looking helmet and I thought that the helmet looks a little bit big for this guy uh, in terms of his physique he looks pretty uh, stocky as a pilot that's why it's called a heavy type A I guess I'm not too sure yeah. all right let's continue shall we articulation supposed to be great but I feel like with the inclusion of the exosuit or exoskeleton it actually limits the movement right uh, apart from that let me just wiggle this a little bit it looks kind of loose on the waist right let's check out the head movement then you can just turn left right you can actually bend forward and backwards too um, for the hand okay the elbow you can bend it right same goes for here now again because over here at the wrist it's attached to the frame so it limits the movement like I say I can't actually turn and bend it this way so in terms of playability factor i feel like um, because of the suit anyways let's move on as for the knees and the legs pretty good there's a double joint i guess over here and here's my favorite part the feet right you can actually bend forward or upwards at the toes area So yeah, overall, I, I, I thought it looks pretty good. You know, again, um, no surprise there when it comes to colors and the design. But, let me take out the hand. Okay, it comes, comes with the joint here. And you can actually attach it to the other hands. You know, I wish they provide us with a couple of these joints because they actually do that for the 125th scale and then same goes to the other hand all right so it's it's kind of loose here and you can just pluck it out from the armor and just remove it from the back okay Give you back your hand, my friend. Oh yeah, one more thing. You can actually remove the arm uh, armor right here. So it looks pretty cool. Right. I think if the pilot doesn't come with the exosuit it should be more fun to play with oh sorry forgot about this there is a holster right here where you can actually put the gun the gun right here and I think for this uh, 
but you can hold a weapon. Okay, looking pretty cool. I kind of like how it looks. But uh, let's fix up the exoskeleton Which I think is a little bit too much Just my personal opinion Right, this is the exoskeleton You can attach the wings to the back Just like this Whoop. Alright, take two Camera stopped working for a moment so yes, dangling over here. Uh, one thing you are got to notice is that on top of the skeleton, on top of the exo suit, uh, you can actually pluck it up, right? Whoop. Okay, so I believe the same goes here. Alright, so yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot going on here. Um, I'm, I'm actually not very familiar with exoskeleton or exosuit, but we'll make it work. Okay, so of course you would have to take out the hands. Right. One thing that you gotta notice is that at the back, if you just attach it, it actually it's kind of loose. I can just remove it without any force. So. Now the next thing you gotta do is that you have to connect here. Make sure you hear the the click sound. Okay, so there you go over here. And last but not least, you just gotta make sure that. Oh man, like I say, there's a lot of stuff going on. Personally. Not my favorite, but but it works. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot. Maybe it's just me, guys. It's not the tool. It's the carpenter. All right, we good. Last thing, put this on. And okay, it works. What if you kind of bend it? You think it works too? Okay, not bad. I kind of like this pose. I think I would take some pictures and post it on my social media so you all can go and uh, take a look at it. But Overall, I feel like this thing can be better. It looks really nice, no doubt. It, it looks really awesome. But does it make a good toy? That's the problem. Hmm. Whoa! What do you guys think? For me personally, I would have to give it a 3.5 out of 5 for the playability factor just because there's a lot of stuff going on um, especially with the suit right so this is just my personal opinion i kind of wish that it's more versatile for me to um, move it around i do like the weapons and um, the colors as usual they are pretty good right they are pretty good i like the blue um, color and yeah, I just kind of wish that, again, the helmet, they would just give you a helmet that you can just put on the head itself. But there's a lot of potential for this to be customized with um, other 118th scale action figures. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and click some buttons, really appreciate it. Please come back to my channel for the two more videos, Acid Rain World and Planet Green Valley. Hopefully they are much better, we shall see.